Hey everybody, welcome back to RGR Football on YouTube. This is Daniel Harms, and for those of you that are new to the channel, please hit that sub button. That'd be pretty awesome for you guys. Also hit that bell notification app to get you updated on everything that Ryan and I do on a daily and weekly basis. Make sure you hit that like button. Obviously that helps us out a lot. And I'm going to jump right in because I think that week two was kind of, shall we say, interesting to say the least. I feel like that the Chargers games are always a little bit weird. You never really know what you're going to get. And again, we didn't really know what we were going to get. We all thought Tyrod Taylor was going to be the starting quarterback. And then Justin Herbert comes in, plays really well. And of course, Patrick Mahomes has other ideas at the end of the game. Uh, I'll be real with you guys for a minute here. I, uh, I really thought that the Chiefs were going to uh, need a little bit of help. So I took off my jersey however through the game. I told them they needed to earn it, and I guess they did. So um, I think there's a, a good thing, a good amount of your welcome involved. I think I feel like I played a good part in this. So I have a lot of superstitions, and it just so happens that that's one of them. And we're going to jump right in here. And I think that the Chiefs did a really good job of making some creative decisions along the way in their their game plan for this this game. And this is one of those that you you feel that the offensive line's having some troubles. So they're looking to get the ball in a different direction, stop teeing off on the quarterback so much. And then you get that hold from Sammy Watkins. You know, it's kind of a ticky-tack play. It is what it is. It's a, it's a good idea. And obviously it's a big play. But this really just goes to show that the Chiefs, more than the Chargers defense in some aspects really hurt themselves. They compounded these issues with terrible play calling, sometimes terrible execution and more penalties. And it just, you can't really do that in these division games, especially when they're playing you really, really tough. So I really, I like the play call right there. I thought it was a really good idea. Just not unfortunately executed properly. Now we're going to, we're going to look at Travis Kelsey doing a really good job of clearing the way for <laughs> Darwin Thompson. You know, everyone talks about him not being able to, to block and yet here we go he's just gonna shift one side of the end and he's gonna do a really good job of chipping number 98 and clearing the way on Kenneth Murray just forcing him out of the way it's just I think that Travis Kelsey isn't you know he's not a great he's not a great blocker there's nothing wrong with what he does but he's gonna he's still gonna give you a good amount of effort in what he's doing and I think that that's it's pretty important to see that even on this this just little tiny play for Darwin Thompson to get a good what nine yard gain I think it was on this play that he's the one that's leading the charge and using the fact that the, the defense only shifts and he's able to get out there, do a good job of helping the, the right tackle and then making Kenneth Murray miss on this play. It's still, you know, he's still fun. He's it just, this is what he is. Travis Kelsey is that guy. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, I know Clyde Edwards Hilaire didn't have the best day on the ground, but this would have been something absolutely fantastic to see. Obviously, this comes back because of this hold right here, which yeah, it is what it is, but that it's just pure acrobatics to come out there and do that. The best part about this play is that he's shielding himself from not only, you know, getting possibly a, a possible interception on the play for this linebacker, but he gets his back turned to him so he can control the catch and then not fumble it afterward, which is it's so cool. And then it also gives him an opportunity to run forward because he's still really spinning in the air. You know, Clyde's going to gonna be a part of this, this offense. He's going to be able to get some of these downfield shots. And I think that it's just going to, it's going to find its way into doing all of this. And before we get into some more of the actual breakdowns of this video, I just want to shout out Joey Bosa because a lot of, I feel like I've undervalued him a little bit in some senses, but he looks like he's more a much more improved player than I had given him credit for. And the ability he's got to transfer his speed to power, you're going to see on this play, he just absolutely bulldozes Schwartz into the backfield. And there's nothing he can do about it. I mean, Schwartz was unable to really get his feet in this game. It felt like the offensive line was having some struggles, you know, finding their footing, their um, togetherness, especially in the tackles. Andy Reid does like to leave his, his uh, tackles on islands for a good majority of the period. And sometimes it's just not in good, good conscience to do that, especially when guys like Joey Bosa are getting pressure and able to push guys in the backfield. They were doing actually a really good job of speed rushing around both Fisher and, uh, and Schwartz, which is something that um, 
for me, I think it's more to do with they need a little bit more game reps because obviously Schwartz is not the most athletic as we all know, but he has the technique and the wherewithal to get where he needs to go and get in the way of these, you know, these speed rushes on the outside. But this, this just goes to, to show you how incredibly strong Joey Bosa is. And I, I just, you know, I wanted to shout out him specifically because he really ruined a lot of the things that she's wanted to do on offense. So that's just going to be just a little thing for him. And now we're going to break down some of the really, the really fun plays from this offensive game, even though it wasn't a great offensive play, a uh, great offensive game. Uh, in the fourth quarter, obviously Mahomes does what he does to bring the team back and really put them on his back. And this is, you know, it's really a lot of fun with the way that the Andy Reid used the fact that the Chief, the uh, Chargers were not, you know, playing a bunch of man and zone. They they played both man, they played both zone. But when they when they would shift their defense like this, just going to have uh, Kelsey come out wide here, kind of space out the linebacker just a little bit. And I want you to watch one Demarcus Robinson angling for this area here. You have Tyreek Hill lined up on the far side of the field because they were shading this deep safety. Well, that's what that does is it creates a huge gap between the deep safety and that third perimeter defender right here. So Andy Reid, being the genius that he is, drew up this play call for Demarcus Robinson to attack this part of the field. Obviously, when you have a man that's going to end up going free past a coverage linebacker right here, that creates an issue. So he's got to, got to react. Obviously, you're just going to watch Travis Kelsey catch that huge touchdown pass. And it's just – it's a tiny little thing. It's a little tiny thing. But like I said, it doesn't – it helps you because you have this linebacker who was in, in the way of DeMarcus Robinson, who's man a man with Clyde Edwards out of the backfield. This, this is the kind, of, the kind of game things that you have – with uh, Andy Reid being able to play call like this. This is kind of what they call a sale concept. It's just an out route right here, or a, 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 a corner route from Travis Kelsey and a flat route from Clyde edwards Hilaire. And it's just, it's un, when you have this matched up with DeMarcus Robinson going to the inside here, it's, it's impossible for them to cover it. And what is he going to do? You have two defenders on three, essentially. And that's what they created here. If they would have let the middle linebacker drop a little bit further, and, you know, obviously with the, the speed and the zip that Patrick Mahomes gets on the football, you have this defender really overcorrecting, and that's what allows Patrick Mahomes to get this ball to Travis Kelsey for a wide open touchdown. It's, it's just it's fun to watch go through just because these, these little tiny things in the game that Andy Reid finds and he manipulates for easy touchdowns. Like, this is an easy toss and catch. So it's a lot of just – fun watching them work within the game because even though it looked on paper like in the first three quarters that they struggled they were a lot of things that they did pretty well like I said they just compounded some issues and penalties with bad execution and, and Mahomes and drop balls there were just some weird offensive things that happened in this game that seemed to show up in, in these kind of situations but in the fourth quarter Patrick Mahomes was who we all know he is. He is a phenomenal quarterback. And I want you to just watch this linebacker here on this uh, all 22 view of the defense and the whole play to see why, just what he's doing. And I want you to just watch him because we're going to talk about it right after this. And I apologize for my probably sniffles every now and then I, I do have a little tiny bit of a cold. So just like I said, watch this defender right here because he's essentially in man coverage, corn, uh, excuse me, zone coverage, but he's shading where Tyree Kill is. You can see him just on the inside shade here. And a lot of times what Tyree Kill has been doing is that he's going to come up to the inside of this defender and then curl on the outside to force him, to try to force him to move to the, to the right. Uh, to Tyree Hill's right to get this open pass right here. But I want you to watch Patrick Mahomes' eyes as, as best you can. It's going to be a little bit hard because this sky cam gets in the way. But the thing about Patrick Mahomes that makes him so good is that he uses what the offense has done already throughout the game and what Tyree Hill has been doing, or shading in the inside to the outside of this linebacker. And you can see his eyes right here, right here. Before he even gets 
his eyes on Tyreek Hill. His eyes were still at this corner right here, and then he begins his windup. And that's going to make, <laughs> make Kenneth Murray think that Tyreek Hill's coming around him that way, and he's going to throw it back the other way. It, that's just so impressive. He opens up an entire area just by, just by eye manipulation, which we've all seen before in, in great detail. But one of the things that, I, like I said, I was mentioning is that Tyreek Hill had this knack to kind of hug on the inside of this linebacker and come around to the outside of this, this little this zone here, which you can see is open. And I just love the fact that both him and, you know, Tyreek are on the same page here because you're going to see him just kind of stop in his blind spot. And Patrick Mahomes obviously uses that to, to, to try to make Kenneth Murray think he's going to his right instead of his actual left where Tyreek's going to be open for a, a big gain. It, these little, I, I, I just said it on the last play, but little things like this are what make this offense so fun. And you, pe you pair Patrick Mahomes with, with, Travis, or with uh, Andy Reid, you get this insane ability to manipulate defenses with his eyes and then play calls from Andy Reid. It, it's, it's so much fun. They have the most unique offense and the most unique ways of, of making things happen. And I don't think we can – talk about this game without talking about the the catch the play of the game the 54 yard touchdown to Tyreek Hill and first thing I want to say is Andy Reid you're you're a genius because obviously with Tyreek Hill you're in the slot that draws Chris Harris Jr. if you guys don't remember he was a Bronco and he's been burned by Tyreek Hill multiple times again the safety is now shaded to Tyreek Hill's side of the field. These are all important aspects just because I'm going to let it go through. And we're going to get to see the whole play in full, full view. And then we're going to go back through and I want to show you guys some of the, the things that I, I found on this play. So there's that, there's the catch there. There we go. Okay. I'm going to get those bookmarks working eventually. I promise you guys, I don't have to keep doing that. Um, minus here. Okay. First thing I want to point out is that, you know, they, they drew this play up to shift the offensive line to the left to get Patrick Mahomes to his right with time. If they, they knew that they had this play working properly, that they, they just needed him a little bit of time to work it. And the way that the offensive line had been playing and the way Joey Bosa had been playing, it just, it seemed like this was a good idea for them to do. Typically rollouts for me aren't a huge plus in terms of getting the right play matched up with the right options. But they drew this play up because they knew it was going to work. And one thing I wasn't prepared for was Nick Kaiser doing a great, great job one-on-one -on -one with Joey Bosa. That, that is still one of the most baffling things about this play for me. Now, let's go back just a little bit because I think we missed some things here. Um, so Tyreek Hill is running a post-corner route. He's just going to take – and manipulate the safety with the post. So which, just watch the deep safety. And as soon as he turns his hips to run with Tyree Kill to again go to this giant spot on the field, this is when they win. And this is how they win because they, they use these things that the Chargers have done against themselves. And you can see right there, as soon as he turns to run with Tyree Kill down the field, he's going to run back to that corner. Now keep your eyes on Tyree Kill. Right here is where we're going to look right here. With Chris Harris Jr.'s body turned away from the football, he's not looking at the football, he's going to hug close into uh, Chris Harris Jr. That's going to make him think that the ball's coming, and he's going to turn, he's going to slow down and look up for the football, and that's when Tyreek is going to turn the afterburners back on and pull away for this touchdown grab and then somersault into the end zone. It's so much fun to watch them do these little again these little things that just make everything work Tyree Kill Patrick Mahomes Andy Reid this this entire play was drawn up specifically because they had a matchup they knew they could exploit a deep safety that they knew they could exploit and then Tyree Kill does the rest uh, it just you know it's a privilege to watch these guys play week in and week out. And again, I want to, I really want to shout out Nick Kaiser for this great job because it, this play doesn't happen without him actually blocking Joey Bosa one-on-one -on -one for a good three seconds, maybe four seconds. So I guess it's really an excellent job. Obviously Patrick Mahomes with a pin 
point accurate throw to where only his guy could get it again, deep down the field with a man in his face. What else do you say about this guys? I mean, there's nothing else to say. I, I loved finding those little tiny details within the play and being able to share them with you guys is so fun because I, I can only do so much in writing. I feel like I get a little bit more in doing this, this area. So thank you guys for watching. And I'm looking forward to the Baltimore game on Monday night. I know you guys are. The one thing that I'll say for that game is I think Travis Kelsey, again, has a great opportunity to have a big game. They have Pat, you know, Patrick Queen, who we, I was a big fan of in the draft, and I think that he's struggled a little bit to adjust to the NFL in pass coverage. Guy with like Patrick, Patrick Mahomes, guys like Travis Kelsey who excel at exploiting younger defenders and making people do what they want to. I think that this is a matchup that they can take advantage of. So uh, Ryan and I are going to have our preview up on the weekend. So I'll, we'll, that's the one thing I wanted to talk about for now. So I hope you guys have a great week. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching this video from the team at RGR Football. Click these videos to see more and subscribe to RGR Football.